Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Sky. This is another episode of the Raycaster game in C++ series and in this video we are going to go ahead and finalize our player movement. So I'm going to open up my terminal here and move to the Raycaster directory and in here I'm going to open up Vim. Now uh, if you remember in the last video uh, we had a uh, actually let me go ahead and yeah so if you remember in the last video uh, we had a player class if I open up map.cpp uh, you can see that one thing I have changed here is that uh, uh, instead of setting the color to be black when there is empty uh, grid cell I'm setting it to a uh, you know grayish dark gray color so that's what we are doing here and now let's go to player.cpp and uh, in here uh, we are going to continue with the uh, the rest of our implementation first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to set the circles position uh, to be equal to uh, oh sorry not position uh, fill color set uh, set uh, circle dot set fill color and we are going to set the color to something like uh, for example uh, let's set it to blue for example uh, all right we have got that now and uh, uh, you can see that I've increased the radius of the circle to 8 as well so that it's a bit uh, larger and you can actually see it and another thing we'll need to do is that uh, well uh, first of all let me go here and run this so if I run make here uh, you can see we get our player and we can move around and it kind of works but uh, uh, firstly there is a couple of problems uh, first thing is that we can't actually see where we are going because uh, you know uh, our uh, there is no way to know which direction the player is facing in so that's uh, that's a bit of a problem so in order to solve that uh, what we'll do is we'll just draw a line so in order to draw a line we'll draw a rotated rectangle so I'm going to say sf column colon rectangle shape here and I'm going to call this uh, line and uh, we are going to basically uh, initialize it with a vector 2 f of course uh, and the actual size of this uh, on the x is going to be larger it's going to be like uh, 24 and on the y it's going to be just like 1 for example or 2 perhaps uh, you know it's not going to be very thick it's going to be a very thin line so with that uh, I'm going to go here and uh, well I'm also going to go with this uh, line here and we can going to say line dot set position and we are going to set its position equal to the actual position that we have got and we are also going to say line dot set uh, fill color and we are going to set that color to sf color column column color and we are going to set it to the same thing blue uh, and we are also going to set the rotation so we are going to say line dot set rotation and we are going to set this rotation equal to our angle so now let's go ahead and try to run that and uh, now since we have set it to our rectangle we should get it but of course uh, we actually don't because uh, uh, well uh, it's quite simple actually we forgot to actually you know draw this so we are going to say target dot draw and we are going to pass it our line here all right now let's go ahead and run that and what you can see is that uh, we do get a line here uh, now if you look closely the line is kind of at not the correct place it's rotating but uh, uh, the circle seems to be at the wrong place the reason for that is the circle is by default uh, you know uh, has its origin at the top left corner which is wrong so in order to fix this we're going to say circle dot set origin and uh, we're going to set its origin to be at uh, uh, well we're going to basically say circle dot get radius and uh, circle of get radius on both axes so yeah like that now let's go ahead and run this and what you can see now is that uh, it now appears correct we can move around and our uh, circle is correct along with the line so it's displaying the line correctly and it's the line is showing us the direction we are moving in so yeah that's uh, that's pretty awesome that means that is working and i'm going to change the turn speed to be something like uh, 90 for example uh, yeah let's see actually not 90 let's just set it to 100 so 100 uh, let's go ahead and run that and uh, yeah that's that's better so you can see I can move around and it is working the player is kind of uh, you know uh, the movement is working and the turning is working and the player can move in the direction that the player is facing so yeah that's uh, that's all working pretty well so yeah that that's pretty cool so with that uh, we have got our player movement finalized Anyways guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Today was just a short video. We created the player movement and uh, that's pretty cool. So we'll, I'll see you in the next video in which we'll uh, start implementing our actual ray casting functionality. So like start casting rays from the point of view from the player. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So stay tuned for that and make sure to like and subscribe as well so you don't miss the next video. Uh, make sure to share this video with other people as well. And I'll see you in the next one and bye.